What's going on everyone? Today we'll be going through the R perms. There are two different types of R perms. So I have here the RA perm and the algorithm that I use goes like this. There also is the RB perm, and once again, the algorithm that I use is shown as follows. So if you're interested in some tips to memorize these algorithms, I'll put the timestamps to both of those in the video right here. I'll also include some more timestamps in the video description as well. So if you're interested in anything specific, feel free to use those to navigate your way through the video. So the easiest way to recognize R perms is to look for headlights. So R perms will always have a pair of headlights that I usually hold towards either the left side or the front side, depending on which R perm it is. So normally to recognize the R perm, I like to put the headlights at the front and to look for the extended two by one bar. So in this case, when the headlights are at the front, the extended two by one bar is on the right side. So that means this is the RA perm. Similarly, in this case, we have the headlights at the front as well and we have the extended two by one bar on the left side. So in this case, it's actually the RB perm. So for the RA perm, which is this one here, remember the two by one bar on the right side. For this algorithm, we wanna start by holding the headlight of the RA perm towards the left side and the extended two by one bar should be facing you. So this is the position that we wanna hold the cube before we start the RA algorithm. Similarly, for the RB algorithm, instead of holding the headlights to the left, we actually wanna hold it so that the headlights are facing towards us like this. So we wanna hold the cube in this position before we start the RB algorithm. So starting off with the RA algorithm, remember for RA perms, which is when the headlights are facing you, the two by one bar is on the right side. We wanna hold it so that headlights are on the left, two by one bar facing us before we start the algorithm. So this is the RA algorithm, and you might recognize the first four moves. If you've learned the J perm before, it's actually the same first four moves of the J perm. So it starts off with R, U, R prime, F. So exact same way as the J perm when it starts off. Uh, next up, it's followed by R, U2 and R prime, U2. So these moves are usually quite easy to remember. It's R and R prime alternating with U2s. The next part, I like to remember how my hands move. So I know I have to do an extra R prime and my index finger follows through with the F. Next up, followed by an R. And now in this case, I like to remember inserting this F12 pair into this slot, but not immediately. I wanna hold the F12 pair at the back first to match up these yellow colors here to make a bar and then insert this F2 or pair into this slot using a U2 insert. And that is the end of the algorithm. So going over the algorithm again, just to recap, once again, it starts off the same way as the J prime. So R, U, R prime, F prime. I like to just remember the next few moves, which is R, U2, R prime, U2. Once again, it's quite easy to remember. Uh, next up, follow through with the R prime, index finger follows through with the F, followed by R, and next up, remember, inserting this F12 pair, or putting it at the back first, and then inserting it with a U2. So moving on to the RB algorithm, there are some similarities between the RA and the RB algorithm. More specifically, the alternating U2s are quite similar. Otherwise, um, with this algorithm, we wanna make sure that we're holding it so that the cube has headlights facing us and that the two by one bar is on the left side. So to start off this algorithm, 
it starts off with an R prime U2 followed by an R U2. The alternating U2s should remind you of the RAs algorithm that we just went through. The next part is also quite similar, an extra R prime followed by an F. So remember, uh, the best way to remember these moves is to just focus on how your hand moves. The next four moves should be very familiar to anyone who's solved a Rubik's Cube before. It's the sexy move, which is quite a common trigger. So R, U, R prime, U prime. And with the last few moves, I just like to match up the colors. So instead of remembering the moves, I can notice that the corner can join up with this edge to form this F2 pair. Uh, I'll match up the whites like this and then finish off with an R2 to put this white all the way at the bottom. And that's the end of that algorithm. So finally going over the RB algorithm once again, just to make sure you've gotten everything. So the algorithm starts off with the R prime U2, R, U2. So this, these four moves are usually quite easy to remember. The next couple of moves, R prime F is best remembered by focusing on how your hand moves. The next four moves, the sexy move, should be quite straightforward to remember. And then the final three moves should be easily remembered by just matching up the colors on the cube. So the most important finger tricks for the R prime will have to be the alternating U2. So you may have noticed that there's a lot of U2s done really quickly, really close to each other in both R prime algorithms. So if you do U2 with only one of your hands, you'll notice that your hands will be very overworked and you won't be able to do it as quickly. I like to recommend alternating U2s with your left hand and your right hand. Just as an example to show you what I mean, I have the R A perm here and you'll notice that in the algorithm near the middle, there's two U2 moves that are done quite close to one another. So the best way to do these U2s is to do one with your right hand and the other one with your left hand so that your hands aren't being overworked. So here's what I mean by um, alternating. So starting off the algorithm pretty straightforward. And so notice how after I do this R, I do the U2 with my left hand. And so when I do the R prime, my left hand has to reset if I want to do the U2 again. So instead of waiting for my left hand to reset, I can just do the U2 with my right hand and then continue on with the algorithm. So by alternating the U2s like this, you're not really overworking one of your hands. You don't have to wait for it to reset as well. So the algorithms can be done a lot quicker this way. And of course, the same technique can be applied to the RB algorithm as well. Once again, right off the bat, there's two U2s that are really close to one another. If, um, if I wanted to start the algorithm with the R prime and then doing the U2 with my right hand, instead of waiting for my right hand to reset, well, in this case, I have to do an extra R move. So my right hand really isn't in a good position to do a U2 anyway. So I'll instead do the U2s with my left hand. That way, the algorithm can be done quite quickly and it flows a lot nicer. This next finger trick mainly only applies to the RA algorithm and it's the first four moves, more specifically the F prime move here. I like to recommend doing this F prime using your thumb pushing up on the F layer like this. So you'll notice that the first four moves, which is R U R prime F prime, your thumb is already set up perfectly to do that F prime push. So definitely try and get used to this finger trick. So I've seen people do the first four moves like this with their index finger pushing down like this. That is still okay, but it does require a regrip at the start. If you use the thumb move, you won't, won't have to regrip at the start of the algorithm. So if you've used both of those finger tricks, you'll notice that at least the RA perm doesn't have any regrips, which means it can be done quite quickly. So just going over the finger tricks again, once first of all, there's the pinch move and then finally this F prime push here. After that, the rest of the algorithm will flow quite nicely without any regrips, which means it can be done quite quickly. However, even using those finger tricks, you'll notice that you still might have to regrip in the RB perm, but depending on when you regrip, it isn't actually that bad. So I'll show you what I mean. So with for the RB perm, it starts off usual with the alternating U2s and then follow through with the sexy move. 
And so here you'll notice you have to do an extra R prime. So if you don't regrip your sort of your right hand's going to be in a really awkward position. So usually I like to regrip before doing the R prime, but you'll notice that before the R prime I just did a U prime with my left hand. So usually I like to regrip my right hand as I do the U prime so that it feels like there's no regrip because you're actually doing another move as you regroup. So it really isn't taking up that much time. So it still makes the algorithm quite efficient in that sense. So the algorithms that I've shown in this video are just the algorithms that I use and I quite like them. But if for some reason you've tried these RUF algorithms and you feel like you're not really a big fan of those, then that's okay. You don't have to learn these. I'll put up some alternative algorithms here as well. Some other popular ones for the R primes are these RUD algorithms. Quite a lot of people use these as well. If you're interested, I'll put these in the description as well so you guys can try them out yourselves. I don't use these algorithms personally. I use the RUF ones. But yeah, once again, if you're interested, you can try these out yourself. And yeah, just pick the ones that work best for you. You don't have to learn one over the other. They're both really good algorithms. So finally, the AUF recognition for the R perms are actually quite a lot more difficult than the algorithms themselves. And that's because the most obvious things such as headlights and bars, they all move around a lot during the algorithm. The only thing about the RA algorithm that doesn't move and it's at the front is this blue sticker here that's next to the two extended 2x1 bar. So usually with AUF, we recognize which color stays the same. So this blue won't actually move. So after the algorithm, this will be the blue side. But blue belongs on the right side here. So I know that if blue's here and it belongs over here, then I'll have to do a U prime after the algorithm to solve the cube. So as shown, the blue side ended up here but it needs to be on this side. So the U prime is added to solve the AUF. So similarly for the RB perm, the headlight and the bar, which is on this side actually, they also move. Don't recognize it based on those. Instead with the RB perm, recognized it based on the color in between the headlights. So once again, this is the blue center, which means that blue is actually gonna end up on this side. Once again, blue belongs on the right side. So the same as before, we need to do a U prime after the algorithm to solve AUF. So as demonstrated, the blue side did end up at the front, which means that the U prime will solve the cube. All right, everyone. So that's it for the R perm tutorials. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer all of them. Share these videos with people you may know who are learning PLO or who want to learn PLO. Also, if you learned something new, please like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more similar videos. Once again, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate everyone's support and I'll see you guys next time.